Hi, we're going to go over how to set up Allegro on a CMake build uh, with Ming GW. I'm going to use C Lion just because it uh, works well with CMake, but you can use whatever you want. So let's get started. Do a new project. I'm going to call this a leg hello just for the heck of it. It gives us a little default project. Thanks Windows Defender for not understanding my editor. If you want to do this with Ming GW, you've got to install Ming GW. I'm sure you didn't see that one coming, did you? MingGW.org. Go to downloads. Uh, get the latest setup. I'm using the 32-bit version. So do that, install it, and you're good to go. Once you have it installed, you'll have it on the root of your drive right here. It'll look like this. So, drill down into it. Alright, next thing you want is you want to go grab the Allegro files. Allegro.cc slash files. I'm using the 5.0, uh, this version right here. Go ahead and grab the zip, save it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm getting another copy. A little redundant, but no worries. So there it is. You just want to unzip it, basically. They're uh, zipped up. Oh god, this green shirt. It's not going well with my... Okay, whatever. It's fine. My green screen. Okay, so you unzip it. So notice these same folders. You just drag them in to here. Not into a folder, but on the outside. It'll merge them in. I've already done this, so it's asking me to replace, but if you're doing this for the first time, it'll just happen. But yeah, you just want to move them in, let them pile in there, and you'll see, if you go in there, you'll see Allegro 5, and there's a bunch of others. I'm using c -Line. This is where you can go get it. It's free for students, otherwise it's paid with 30-day trial. There are other editors you can use that are about the same. You can use CMake on Visual Studio, which is free. And there's code blocks and other ones too. Or you can just figure it out in the terminal if you want. But basically, I'm using CMake to set everything up here. In your project file, you want to go to File, uh, Settings, and under Build, Execution, and Deployment, Tool Chains, you just want to make sure it's on Ming GW. Um, the default project is going to give you a main and a CMake. I'm just going to show you how to get the Hello World working. Just getting the Allegro window started. And then I'll show you where to go from there. So this is the default thing that it gives you for CMake. The only thing we really need to do is link Ming GW and link uh, Allegro. We can do that with target link libraries at the bottom here. Link Ming GW. 32, and then you also want to link the Allegro thing, which is, depending on what version, it's going to be this, El Allegro 5.0 Monolith MD Debug. In here, if you look at Live, you'll be able to find all these. They're .a files. I'm not entirely sure which ones you're supposed to use. I'm using, uh, Okay. Maybe someone in the comments will know or can explain this. Basically, you gotta use one of these dot A's. I'm using this one right here. And instead of uh, live at the front, it's just dash L. So now we need some code. So you gotta do your includes. Uh, mainly need this to get a window. This is for the native dialog, which I'm gonna use for. So first of all, you want to declare a Allegro display, pointer to Allegro display, attempt to init your display with al init, which returns a bool. Um, if I'm just making it so that if it uh, returns false, it throws an error, and exits, of course, with the return. So if it gets past that, I'm going to go ahead and create a display. 
and we're gonna make sure that's not null. And if it is, we're gonna show an error and exit. And uh, so if we do this, we're good. We want to destroy the display at the end. This is gonna flash real quick. And do a compile here. Not if you want to see it sit for a while. If you're building a game, you're probably gonna want a game loop after you set up your display. Um, so I'm gonna use a quit. Uh, boolean to control my loop here. I'm just going to do sleep for 5, which is part of the uni standard here, just so it shows the window for 5 seconds. And then it sets quit to true and exits the loop. I essentially don't really need the loop here, because I'm just sleeping for 5, so I could literally just do this and get the same effect, but if you're doing a game you want some kind of loop, of course. Okay, well there you go. There's the hello world. If, if you want to find out um, more about Allegro, more tutorials, more how to get a game going in it, um, well, after you get this hello world, it's a big step. There's lots of little projects here, resources. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff online about how to do this. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Flawless victory.